I have found a good place to observe. We must just climb up here. Now, this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much? Hmm, perhaps I'm simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Antenna. Security hub's liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. This is not bad. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Pipes. See them? We could use them to get inside. Got eyes on the comm system. A lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in then. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. <coughs> B. What? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine-looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City. Except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bakinical. Bakinical. 
the echo is a cat, barking echo. The... A barking echo? What's that? It is a cat yeah. spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Feline ghost. I suppose anything's possible. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko, too. Miss Home? A foolish question. Of course I do. I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. What was it like growing up in Chiba 11? I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Let me guess, so they could turn them into corpo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburo Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. One hundred candidates standing at attention. And Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. And all you had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here. Your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety... The Chiba 11 slum rats? They're there. Scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that, too. We cannot fix everything at once. Forgetting I was at Arasaka? Saw how corpse operate. Wooden roses and rainbows. You know what? Nobody owns me. I'm free. You should try it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad. To leave this world. Forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. You have the desire. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally starting to make some sense. 
It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. Bakaneko got <laughs> sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something.